Hey everyone, welcome to today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. The Gaylord Gauntlet is coming up. It's a 5K trail and obstacle run that raises funds for Connecticut's largest adaptive sports program. Here now with the details are Katie Jolly, Program Manager of Gaylord Sports Association, and Natalie Matarazzo, an adaptive athlete participating in this year's Gaylord Gauntlet. Thank you both for joining us. Thank Absolutely. You. So Katie, this is exciting. The event is coming up. Tell us about it. Yes, so coming up on Saturday, June 24th, is our Gaylord Gauntlet. It's a 5K obstacle mud run. It features 24 different obstacles, everything from walls to climb over, mud pits, uh, rope walks, even a huge water slide at the end. We also have a festival area with food trucks and music, so it is a super fun day for everyone. Absolutely, and this is the, you said the ninth year that it's Our ninth happened. year. Exciting, but Natalie, this is your first year yes. participating. Yes. Uh, tell us why you're excited and why you decided to do it. So why I decided to do it is mostly just because I was asked, honestly, and then that kind of made me sit back and think that there's all these people who've watched me grow since my injury and they think that I'm capable of doing something extravagant like this. So I think the most important thing now is that I need to prove it to myself that I'm capable of doing it. and. Hopefully that's going to motivate me to get through yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Well, tell us a little bit about your journey. I know you've been in the wheelchair for two, coming on two years now? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. So I was in a car accident my senior year of high school, um, going to school that day, and it was raining, crashed, and I have a spinal cord injury from about my belly button down. So initially I couldn't feel, I couldn't move anything from belly button down, waist down. And so far I think I've... I've made good progress. It's been two and a half years, and for the most part, I've gotten some good movement, good mobility, feeling back in my legs. Yeah, and I mean, I think you just participating will show so many other people with injuries that yes. it is possible. Now, Katie, the funds that are raised uh, benefit your organization, the Gaylord Sports Association. Uh, tell us about the work that you do. Yeah, absolutely. So. The Gaylord Sports Association, it's a program of Gaylord Specialty Healthcare out of Wallingford, and we're an adaptive sports program. So we help people who have maybe had a major injury or illness, such as a spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, stroke, um, amputation, get back to being active, getting back to their life through adaptive sports. So we have 16 different sports that we offer throughout the year, um, competitive sports, recreation, such as archery, golf, sled hockey, wheelchair tennis, water skiing, lots of different options for people to get out there and get active again. Right, and uh, we just saw some photos of the run. Um, it's really a, a hit, lots of physical activity. Um, for now, Natalie, I want to know, you know, why organizations mm -hmm. like this are important to those who may have suffered a physical injury. Would seeing something like this have made you feel, you know, more hope when this first happened to you? Oh, 100%. Yeah. So when I was first injured, the first thing that I really did was go on my social media, find other people like me or just other disabled athletes in general, because I've always been pretty athletic, always had like that drive to me. So it was very important to me to find a solid group of people who can participate in sports and the same physical activities that they used to do before they were injured or just with their disability. Right. Well, we're seeing you in action here. I mean, I think this will <laughs> give lots of people hope. Now, Katie, if people still want to get involved, they certainly can still sign up. Yeah, correct? absolutely. We still have space available. Runners can sign up online or the day of the event. Um, and we're also still recruiting volunteers. So getting involved by running or volunteering either way would be amazing. All right. Very exciting. Katie Jolly and Natalie Matarazzo, thank you so much and have lots of fun at this event. I can't wait to see how thank you. it goes. All right. And you can, of course, learn more at gaylordgauntlet.org or gaylord.org slash sports. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Have a great day.